A solar storm right there is hurtling towards Earth this morning. You can get excited, but for most of us, nothing really to worry about. I like how we were so reassuring. Nothing really to worry about. Just some gamma rays That's and That's right. It's all good. NASA cameras captured the coronal mass ejection on Friday. So what in the world is that? Well, it's a fancy <laughs> way of saying the sun just had a pretty rude burp of plasma. <laughs> it's uh, filled with electrically charged particles that could ignite an aurora tonight. So cool. So cool. But we want to talk about the sun's outburst and the light show that follows. Tamitha Scove holds a PhD in geo and planetary physics from UCLA. And you can find her on the web at uh, spaceweatherwoman.com. Love that. And Dr. Scove joins us now via LA this morning. Thanks for joining us so early this morning. And you've been up all night monitoring the aurora. So, how is it looking on a scale of, you know, a big outbreak to uh, just a so so event? Well, actually, uh, it, it's interesting you mentioned that because we've just bumped up to a moderate level storm. This storm actually, when it hit, it actually hit around midnight last night. That's why I'm a little bit tired here. Uh, I've been up all night with, a, with Aurora reporters pretty much around the world and also amateur radio operators and some GPS operators because, believe it or not, this actually affects them as well. And I've been getting reports. Here's some gorgeous Aurora that we've already gotten in Alberta. And I'll show a, a couple others. I've just been slammed with these things. We've seen Aurora uh, starting around 1 or 2 in the morning. Uh, we saw Aurora in North Dakota already. We've seen it in uh, all over Canada. It's been in Manitoba, in British Columbia. Uh, it's been all over Alberta. We've also seen it at, at Washington State. I'll, as a matter of fact, I'll get to a few of these pictures right now, if you can bear with me. Sure. Uh, we've seen it in New Zealand. Uh, here's the picture from Washington State. This is a webcam, Ooh. believe it or not. Hmm. Webcams anymore are so good that they can actually pick up the aurora. And you can see a time lapse if you go to Mount Adams webcam. That's uh, you can awesome. also see, you can see it in, in Calgary. Here is a when it first started in uh, Dunedin. Uh, in the in so this is the aurora australis. So this is in uh, New Zealand. Uh, and it even as you can see, people are celebrating there. <laughs> uh, that's a back of the camera shot. And it even made it as far south as Iowa already. Wow. Wow. So, so this storm, if it continues to be this strong, and I hate to say it, but right at the moment, we're beginning to get a little bit of a lull. So we may have seen the strongest burst already. And if you weren't a night owl, you may have missed it. But it, there's, another, there's a chance that it will continue. It's just very difficult to predict uh, the, uh, the, the, what we need is a, a, the magnetic field, basically. We need the strength of the storm, and we also need uh, a magnetic field that points in a, in a direction that's conducive for aurora. And uh, the Earth is a big magnet, and, it, and, it, uh, and the sun sends out these magnets, these big CMEs. So um, they have to actually click and, and, and attract each other in order for aurora to happen. And it, and it helps probably to have nice dark skies. Uh, so what would be the best time if we were going to try and venture out maybe in some of these spots to get out there and, and try and get a view? Absolutely. Uh, the best spots, if we, if we see aurora tonight, you could probably see it. It will be down maybe as far south as Iowa. Uh, you'll, you should get a good chance even in New York State. Uh, we'll see it probably in Wisconsin, maybe even as far south as Colorado and Washington again. Uh, definitely all over Canada, but you have to get out of the city lights. And that doesn't mean super far, just out of, you know, a lot of bright lights. Also take a camera with you and take long exposures because sometimes the aurora is not visible by eye, but it is very visible on your camera. Uh, and the other thing is, of course, look to the north horizon. And if you're just after the sunset, look to the east a little bit. And if you stay out late, you can actually watch the aurora kind of rise and set just like the sunrise and sunset. So if you're out too early in the morning, the aurora will set in the west and it rises in the east. So again, I was just in uh, Montana last week, so it looks like I've just missed the show yeah. by a week or so. So again, is Montana, is that area a good viewing uh, location for the aurora tonight? Absolutely. Montana will be spectacular. We did get some, and you reminded me, we've got some in Michigan as well. If you, if you go to the uh, Tamitha Scove uh, Twitter feed, you will find many more photos that I cannot show. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just, there's so many reporters out there, and all of them are just getting spectacular views. I am one of your followers, by the way, and you're a great resource for any hints or heads up about future displays, too, by the way. So, Dr. Tamitha Scove, thank you so much for taking time with us and joining us so early from Los Angeles. Or I should say late for you, because you've been up <laughs> just geeking out right along with us, and we appreciate your time so much. You can also find Dr. Stove at, Scove at uh, spaceweatherwoman.com. Great website. Thanks yes. so much for that. Let's talk about the cloud cover, because some 
Some areas physically cannot see the northern lights because of the clouds. And definitely watching some showers across parts of the northeast and New England tonight could limit your view. But western states should be A-OK. -okay. Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Ham has no added nitrates. Nitrates are artificial preservatives. Now it's good for us all, like those who like sweet, those who prefer heat.